These are the 2022 MLB underrated awards, where I basically just made up a bunch of awards for people in the MLB this year. Awards that I appreciate, the things that I notice. And these are maybe guys that are a little under the under the radar. Some of them are fun, some of them are serious. I hope you enjoy. Here we go. I am a reliever. I enjoy relievers. And I need to give a little bit of love to a top most the most under Okay, why are these not loading? Hold on. Now for award number one. Here is the most underrated award pitch for relievers of the year. It goes to Johan Duran. Put it at the top. Put it at the top of the screen. Don't zoom in on my face. Put it at the top of the screen. Johan Duran. I came up with this using some, some interesting statistics off of fan graph. So here we go. Johan Duran was second in the clutch rating, meaning this is how well he did in leverage situations. He was the second best. If you combine that with pitcher leverage index at a 1-6, so he was second in clutch and he's 25th, which puts him like fifth or sixth on non-closers in leverage index. Stranded 78% uh, of his runners. He's second highest in clutch and about sixth highest in leverage index for reliever. Yon Duran, you are my underrated reliever of the year. In that same vein, this is the most underrated position player in value. My underrated position player of the year is Dalton Varsho of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now everyone's like, whoa, I was not expecting that. Dude, what the f Anyways, back to what I was saying. Put it into context. Dalton Varsho hit 27 home runs. Is that good? It is. He was sixth in the death stat, meaning your, your defensive uh, uh, value. And then a four, six war, which puts him in the top 20 in just about everything. And he's a utility player that can catch and play center field. Those things are insane. Don Varsho, top of the screen. Next, next, we have the best number three starter in the league. Christian Javier, Christian Javier, 11 and nine, two five ERA. In 25 games started, he also pitched out of the pen five times. Through 150 innings, 89 hits, a 152 ERA plus, a three FIP, a sub one whip in 150 innings. My honorable mentions, Kyle Wright and Logan Gilbert. So congratulations, Christian Javier. You win. You always do. <laughs> Next up, we have the I thought it was fast, but I'm not award. <laughs> And this one goes to the person that is unanimously thought of as fast, but also got caught stealing a lot this year. And it goes to my boy, the man, the myth. Shohei Otani was 11 for 20 in stolen bases this year. He got caught nine out of the 20 times. Just for reference, all, everyone else who got caught nine times stole, uh, had at least 35 attempts. Hey, I'm not, no shade. You know who would get caught 100% of the time? This guy. This dude almost won a Cy Young. So he can he can go get caught if he wants. I say that as he steals on me this year. Just clip this for later. Uh, here we go. Next up, the award for <laughs> number one reliever, I think. So this goes to a man who did both. Relieved, started, relieved, started. I call this the Adam Ward and Trevor May Award. In 2015, myself and Adam Warren both were the first pitchers in the history of baseball, or at least in the last 100 years, to start 15 or more games and pitch 30 or more appearances out of the bullpen. So the winner of the Reliever Award is... My man, we share the same name, all T. Willie who just signed a two-year deal with the Nationals as a starter. Congratulations, T. Williams. Trevor Williams, nine starts, 20 not, 21 appearances out of the pen. He threw a 3-2, 90 innings, and this dude, eight innings. He saved the team. He did. 
Every single time they're like, someone got hurt the first, got pulled the first, he threw five innings. Every time. Trevor Williams, my leader of the year. Congratulations, Trev. I know you're really excited. Next, we have the most clutch hitter award. What hitter was the most clutch in big situations for the whole year? Guess. Guess in the chat. I want to see some guesses over here. Give me some guesses. I just want all of you guys to know you're all wrong except for one of you. One of you got it right, in my opinion. The most clutch on the year is Andres Jimenez. Overall, so there's two things that come into play here, guys. WPA over leverage index. Okay, and then the clutch factor is Andres Jimenez overall has the best clutch WPA combination, followed closely by Mookie. Mookie has a really good one. So my runners up were Mookie Betts right here with a 3.8 WPA, which is higher. And he performed, overperformed basically based on his W. So that's really impressive. He was right behind Andres. And then uh, Julio Rodriguez again. Congratulations, dude. You win a thumbs up. Next award, the Backup Closer Award. This one's very easy. Basically, this award goes to somebody with the best performance in save situations when they are not the closer. This has nothing to do with me. The Backup Closer of the Year Award goes to Rafael Montero, followed closely by Giovanni Gallegos. Both of them had 14 saves. Um, at the end, Helsley was closing for St. Louis and uh, Presley was the closer all year. For the Astros. So for both of them to get 14 is pretty incredible. So congratulations, Raphael. This is for you. Boop. Moving on, the nastiest new pitch award. New pitch, a pitch they did not have until this year. Stop it. We have. If it'll load, I'll show it to you. Freaking Matt Brash's slider. That's Otani. What is happening? What is happening? Aha! What is that? What is that? He throws a curveball at 80. He basically turned that into a harder version of his curveball. So the article I read before on tunneling, he was the example. This guy changed his slider halfway through this year, and uh, it was unhittable for the, for the end of the year. Matt Brash, nastiest change to a pitch. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. This one is one of my favorites. This is... The pitch clock is my fault award. And this goes to the person that took the longest time between pitches this season. And the award goes to Kenley Jensen. This right here is the leaderboard for best tempos with runners on base. Thirty-one point four seconds between each pitch. Kenley Jensen, and with a close runner up, we have Devin Williams and Giovanni Gallegos. You know what? People do what they need to do, man. You got to do what you need to do. Build up the pressure, ice them out. Do what you need to do. Unfortunately, you can't do it anymore. So sick. Pitch clock time. Let's do it. The next award goes to my friend. This is my favorite award. This is the Just Go Already Award. Put it on top screen. Just go already. This is for the pitcher that allowed the most stolen bases this year. I didn't even, I'm not even drum rolling this. I got to say it. Adam Ottavino, you gave up 19 stolen bases this year, and I think three of them were caught. So he gave up 19 stolen bases, and he was the most stolen on reliever by nine. Kenley gave up 10. He was second. This is all 19 stolen bases in 10 seconds. The Just Go Already Award goes to Adam Ottavino. Congratulations, man. Here's your thumbs up. Boop. Next up, we have the What Is Happening Award. And the most confusing sequence of events I've ever seen in my entire life goes to... Richard Blyer balking five, or no, he balked, balked three times. I'm not gonna, we don't need to exaggerate this one. It's already insane. So that he balked once, he's not happy. 
He's like, yes, I did. You're an idiot. I hate you. Jeff's like, yeah, he botched. I totally saw it. Look at my flowy little hair. Can't wait to eat Pizza Hut after the game. So Richard's like, F you, bro. There's the second one. I'll be honest, guys. I probably would just exaggerate it. Like, comically exaggerate it. Pete's like, I think that's a ball. So I'm going to try to take my walk. And now I'm super confused because I don't know. I don't know what to, where do I go? What do I do? Does this mean I got to go to first? Was that still a strike, a ball? Richard Blyer, congratulations. You have the what is happening best sequence of the year. I, I still don't know what happened. I don't know why they were doing that. You were either picking on you, but sorry. And here we go on our, we're going to rapid fire these last few. For the most improved team of the year, the Orioles. Now the Mets, I will say, we have won 23 more games. I don't think they were fully in on like, we're done with the rebuild, but Rashman made a huge difference. So the Baltimore Orioles, most improved team in my opinion. Most improved player overall. Most improved player, a player that basically had been bouncing around and was looking for somewhere to, to stick, to live, to be. And my most improved player of the year. Harold Ramirez. Anybody? He hit 300 and 400 at bats, 121 hits, and he was insanely clutch for the Tampa Bay Rays. A starting pitcher that took a massive next step in either their sophomore or their junior years. Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease is indeed followed very, very, very closely by Tristan McKenzie and Kyle Wright. This is the being a reliever's easy award. This is a starter that translated into being a reliever this year and came in and was was nasty. Next up, Jorge Lopez. The swaggiest player from each league of 2022. Jazz Chisholm. It's Jazz. Swag. And we're talking smooth. We're talking smooth swag here. Just like, like chains and just the, just pretty. Everything's pretty. Slow walk, pro hop to the mound. You gotta be the swag. Now for the AL. It's freaking Vladdy, baby. Look at his ice in his veins. I love his dad too. That's, look how swaggy he is there. Uh. All right, guys. Time for the final award. Best ejection of the year. And the best ejection of the year goes to. Look at him. He's like. That guy's just—he's thrown out. I, I know exactly how he's feeling. As I, everything I've heard about Schwarbs is he's the nicest guy ever. Be so much Schwarbs never change. That is the underrated wards of the year. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what we didn't like. Comment below. I don't know. Subscribe.